hello queen bees welcome to my channel my name is queenie you can call me queen if you're new to my channel hi hello how are you i hope you can stay longer and subscribe to my channel and hey if you're coming back here in my channel thanks queen bee welcome back all right today's video guys we are going to talk about one of the famous mist from victoria's secret mist and that is called coconut I was about to say coconut passion. <laughs> coconut passion. Okay, so I do have here the glitter version or the shimmer version, you guys. And this is a 10 ml decant of the mist. Okay, I don't want to buy the full bottle yet because I still want to test the mist if I'm gonna love it or not. So decant is perfect for that kind of testing. Okay, so yes, without further ado, let's talk about Victoria's Secret Coconut Passion. And let's go to Fragrantica with our book of notes. According to Fragrantica, Victoria's Secret Coconut Passion is a seductive, warm fragrance inspired by the tropics. Okay, so just like the Philippines, the Philippines is a tropical country. Let's see if I'm gonna be resonating with this fragrance because I grew up in the tropics. I am still here in a tropical country of the Philippines. We have a coconut farm. We have a lot of coconuts here in the Philippines as well. So let's try to check out if this one is really inspired by the tropical island paradise like the Philippines. Let's talk about the notes. Let's go to the notes because there is no categories there is no top notes middle notes or base notes in fragrantica there is only the notes okay so we have vanilla coconut lily of the valley chamomile and aloe vera so there are five notes of this fragrance and the notes on um, the scent categories are sweet gourmand fruity vanilla ish um, floral white florals aloe vera is green fresh watery aquatic note okay so let's go to the initial spray and the dry down i do have here a piece of paper and the decant of victoria's secret coconut Posh coconut passion okay let's go ahead and spray i have already sprayed this on my arm earlier for the dry down here and on my clothes to check how does it smell on the clothes okay by the way just a little trivia about this fragrance i saw it in tiktok that this is actually um, one of the favorite fragrance or like a signature fragrance of kylie jenner so let's go ahead and find out how does kylie jenner smells like okay so for the initial spray, I can already smell this warm, vanilla-ish, sweet, candy-ish kind of scent. Ooh. On the piece of paper, this is very coconutty, you guys. Um, I can smell the coconut. It smells like the Spanish bread. It smells like that. Spanish bread is a bread that we have here. Um, the fillings are coconutty, okay? There's like a coconut fillings in there. Young coconut, I guess. Or I'm not sure how they make it. But that's Spanish bread and it smells like that on the initial spray. On my hand right now, I've sprayed it earlier. I'm not sure if it's captured in the camera, but... It smells like that as well. It's warm, it's coconutty. Not a lot of vanilla in there, but it's the creaminess, the warmness of the coconut note that I'm getting. Chamomile is aromatic, herbal, green kind of scent or note, but I'm not getting actually in the initial spray. The initial spray is straight up coconut scent, the coconut milk. There is a coconut milk, vanilla as well, the warmness of it, but not, not too much of that vanilla. It's just the coconut I'm getting. Right now, for the dry down, for the dry down, I can now smell this um, white floral, a little bit of the white floral it's just a hint of the white floral it's this is definitely not a floral scent this is more on the warm gourmand kind of scent the dry down for this one like the two to three hour dry down of this one is really beautiful you guys there is this chocolatey smell in it 
for the two to three hour dry down for the demographic i can imagine this to the much older demographic like the working demographic the mother this is perfect for mothers actually for our um stay-at-home moms out there even the working moms even our career strong independent woman um this is nice if you love sweet perfumes warm perfumes more on intimate kind of perfume this is going to be perfect for that one this is not screaming like any other um, fragrances that I have, like the fresh fragrances that's really screaming, I'm fresh, I'm this, I'm very vibrant like that. But this one is just a low-key, sweet kind of vibe. I'm not going to recommend this to the high schoolers, to our elementary students. This is going to be more on the mature side of the, the demographic. I can imagine this to college students and the working to the older demographic. For the occasion, you guys, this is going to be perfect for like a date night kind of fragrance and also for you know beach vibe kind of fragrance this is nice as well for an everyday kind of fragrance yes you can definitely wear this but you will easily get sick of it if you're going to use it as an everyday kind of fragrance more like a date night kind of fragrance a beach vibe kind of fragrance an intimate dinner kind of fragrance that's what I can imagine in this um, perfume or in this scent. For the weather, you guys, yes, this is going to be an all-year-round kind of perfume here in the Philippines. We only have two weathers here. We have sunny days and the rainy days. For sunny days, if you're out and about, if you're going to on um, vacation, this is nice. If you're just going to run an errand, yes, you can wear this. Just like what I mentioned earlier, a date, this is nice. This feels cozy on a rainy weather. So if you're just at home, probably watching TV with your boyfriend or your husband, this is gonna smell romantic. The longevity, unfortunately for this one, this doesn't really last long, probably because it's just a mist for this one. It's um, The scent smells two hours to three hours on my skin and on my clothes, it's like five to six hours and it's gone okay but that would depend on the amount of spray that you will be um, spraying on yourself for me I can only uh, for this kind of scent I can only spray up to four sprays after that I'm gonna be sick or feel heady because I'm not really into this sweet gourmand warm kind of girly <laughs> I am more on the fresh, vibrant kind of scent. So for this one, I can only spray up to four sprays. I'm okay with it. For the silage and projection, the projection is there on the initial spray. You can really smell the projection. It's strong on the initial spray. As um, Same with the silage. There is this trail of fragrance following you for like a couple of minutes, like 20 to 25 minutes. Other people can still um, smell the silage of your perfume as well as the projection. But... On the first to second hour, it's more on an intimate kind of scent already. If you're in a crowd or if you're in an open space, it won't really, you know, show up. For the overall scent category of Victoria's Secret Coconut Passion is going to be sultry, sexy, warm, and nice. It's really ladylike. It's really womanly okay so yes for me i would wear this on an occasional kind of basis if i'm going to feel sexy womanly pretty beautiful mature in that moment i can definitely wear this and i am going to layer this with zara nude bouquet because the two combo is perfection okay you guys that has been the video i hope you like this video if you do please give it a thumbs up click the notification bell button so that you will be notified for my next upload and please don't forget to subscribe i'm going to see you on my next video bye